Thank you for joining me today. My name is Erica from IDE Corp. And today I'm going to talk to you about the efficacy notebook. As instruction becomes more differentiated and students engage more independently, it's important to avoid the checkoff approach to completing instructional activities. Finishing an assignment does not guarantee learning. The digital efficacy notebook, however, causes students to pause and reflect after each activity including teachers' lessons and homework, thus increasing the likelihood of learning retention. In her book, Building Executive Function, Dr. Nancy Sula says, while empowerment is bestowed upon you by someone else, efficacy comes from within. It is your own ability to decide upon a desired outcome and make it happen. The efficacy notebook enhances this process. The purpose of the efficacy notebook is to encourage personal reflection to deepen the learning experience. This leads to an increase in content engagement and retention of learning. The efficacy notebook is unique for each student, as individuals decide the contents of the pages based on personalized learning paths. Keeping an efficacy notebook strengthens a number of executive function skills, which leads to greater academic achievement. Through teacher facilitation and feedback, students further build executive function and learning retention. The process of synthesizing information requires students to consider multiple pieces of information and put them together in a new way to create new information. When students synthesize information, they are then able to make connections among ideas and create new information. What a powerful process! Using an efficacy notebook promotes this process of synthesis by formally asking students to make connections among content, purpose, and application. Students then capture these connections within their efficacy notebook to build efficacy. The key is in the questions. After each activity, ask students to summarize the activity and what they learned, then provide two to three additional questions that promote higher order thinking. So let's talk about what the efficacy notebook will look like. As students add instructional activities and their reflection, they build their personal table of contents. If you're teaching through real world problems, students should copy the problem-based task statement in their notebooks. This is where you could offer questions to have them reflect on the problem they are about to solve. If you use rubrics or checklists, have the students include those in the efficacy notebook with a self-assessment reflection. After each learning activity, and this can be a lesson, a video, a computer activity, a text-based activity, or even a group activity, Students should stop and reflect by writing a summary of the activity and what they learned along with two or three additional questions. You could assign questions to an activity or create a list of possible questions and allow students to choose two or three to answer. Have students include a weekly reflection on all they've learned, again offering questions to prompt their thinking, allowing them to comment on their learning process. This is a great place for them to list their aha moments, their challenges, and pose questions. Efficacy is a personal journey, enhanced by a mentor or teacher. As a teacher, you do not need to read every page of a student's efficacy notebook. You may want to read a particular section, maybe the weekly reflections, read about particular activities, or even ask students to identify pages they would like you to read. As a teacher, you provide feedback, resources, and thought-provoking questions. Remember, efficacy is developed within oneself, so this is solely a tool through which students reflect, connect, generate questions, and assess. The content should not be graded. However, if you want, you may offer a participation grade. Using an efficacy notebook in your classroom for your own professional learning will help solidify learning for you and for your students. 
Thank you for tuning in.